You know, stories are not just for kids. We all rely on stories to teach the lessons that we want to absorb like deep in our being that, that tell us who we should be, who we can be. And I'm fascinated with the story of Marcus Aurelius because he was a real person, just like you and I. He was an ordinary boy who was selected for greatness. 2,000 years ago, a, a boy, a, a person just like you and I, was selected to be the emperor of most of the known world. What he learned, what he did, who he was, that echoes through eternity right down to this conversation we're having right now. And I wanted to read you my book, The Boy Who Would Be King. These are some of the places Marcus traveled in his life, in Greece and Rome and all over Europe. Boy Who Would Be King by me, Ryan Holiday, that's me. If at some point in your life you should come across anything better than justice, wisdom, discipline, and courage, must be an extraordinary thing indeed. That's a real quote from Marcus Aurelius. You might think that every little boy should like to be king. Marcus Aurelius didn't. Why me was all he could think. The gods choose things for us, his mother said. All we can choose is how we respond. It seems very hard, he said. To whom much is given, much is expected, she told him. When the sun rose the next day, it found Marcus lying in bed. That's where his teacher Rusticus found him too. Is this what you were put on this earth to do, he asked, to hide under the warm covers? Marcus had gone to school, but now his education truly began. Your path will not be an easy one, Rusticus told him, but I can show you the way. Into the boy's hand, he placed a book, then another, then another, and another. What does reading have to do with being a king, Marcus asked. Everything, Rusticus told him. Through the pages of a book, Rusticus said, we can talk to people who lived long ago and learn easily what they learned with great difficulty. When Marcus finished reading, he thought he knew everything there was to know. Life's lessons only begin with books, Rusticus said. They don't stop there. Together they watched officials give speeches. They spoke to wise elders. Like a true Roman, Marcus learned to hunt and to ride and to wrestle. It's not fair, Marcus said after losing to his brother one day. Lucius is so much stronger than I am. How do you think I got that way, Lucius said. It's all right, Marcus, Rusticus said. Nothing should be so encouraging as the different qualities of the people around us. One person's modesty, another's cheerfulness, someone's beauty, someone's work ethic. We can learn from everyone, Rusticus said, our opponents, our friends, everyone is better than us in something. But look at that kid, Marcus yelled, he's cheating. Even there we can learn how not to be, Rusticus replied. And the way to beat a cheater is not to be like them. There were many lessons every day and sometimes Marcus felt sorry for himself. Lucius felt sorry for himself too. Why was Marcus picked instead of me, Lucius wondered. I didn't ask for any of this, Marcus grumbled. Never let yourself be heard complaining, their mother told him, not even to yourself. You might think that a future king can do anything he wants, but no one is fit to rule who has not first mastered themselves. Moderation in all things, Rusticus told Marcus, and remember some things not at all. Still, sometimes mischief fluttered in Marcus's little heart, like the time he played a prank on the shepherd, scattering his sheep in all directions. His mother was the most disappointed. To whom much is given, much is expected, she said again. To do wrong to one person is to do wrong to yourself. Marcus decided he had to see the kingdom he was supposed to lead. So he walked the busy streets of Rome where there were hungry beggars and desperate gladiators, scheming senators, 
and aggressive merchants, where the rich lived well and the poor suffered. It was too much. So he ran away to his family's home in the countryside, where he could be alone without anyone or anything to bother him. He could walk through the fields of wheat bending low under its own weight, pick the ripe olives from the trees, watch the boars roam with flecks of foam on their mouths, and sit at the top of a hill and look down on Rome, protected from everything he didn't like. You know, this isn't what you were put here for either, Rusticus said when he found Marcus. It's not right to ignore what you know is not right. There is no good in all this training if you don't use it. We've spent so much time talking about what a good king is like. Soon, you'll have to be one. What if I'm not ready? What if I'm not smart enough? What if I mess up? Just do your best step by step, Rusticus said. That's no small thing. That night, Marcus had a dream that his shoulders were made of ivory, and on them rested the purple cloak, the emperor. When he awoke early the next morning, Marcus knew it was time. It was his turn to make decisions, to carry the load, and to thank Rusticus the best way there is to thank a teacher, by living up to what they taught us. So Marcus sold the palace jewels to feed the poor. He gave the gladiators wooden swords so they would not get hurt in the arena. He upheld the laws, lived by them, and insisted that everyone do the same. And when he felt he might lose his temper, he counted all the letters of the alphabet before he said anything. And then he surprised everyone by naming his brother Lucius co-emperor. It doesn't matter if you're tired or well-rested. It doesn't matter if it's hard or it's easy. If you're cold or warm, what counts? Whether you're a kid or a king or anything in between, Marcus said, is that you do the right thing. You might think this all made Marcus Aurelius very popular. You're right. They built statues of him and threw parades. Crowds cheered as he passed. It was nice, of course, but that's not why he did it. At first, I thought I was unlucky this happened to me, Marcus said, but now I see that it was a gift. The job of emperor was a gift, Rusticus and his mother said, because you made it. Marcus Aurelius lived long, long ago. And the gods have chosen many boys and girls to rule since. But Marcus's example stands eternal. Courage, justice, discipline, wisdom. An extraordinary thing indeed. The end. I hope that resonates with you. You can check out the book anywhere books are sold, but of course, also you can grab it in my store. You can even get a signed version at dailystoic.com slash king. 